Hey guys. Oh my god. Seriously. Has everything, like literally everything, just gone wrong? I I don't think I have ever had so much go so wrong so quickly. So if I burst into tears in the middle of this um, video, I apologize. Yesterday was Sunday and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, yesterday was Sunday and I wanted to go out to Mexican just you know have like um, I was asking Finn if he wanted to go and get some nachos there's this amazing little Mexican place that I know that I really love and he at first he was like oh yeah maybe I will and then he was like no 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 he was on the computer with his best friend <clears throat> and so I checked like three times with him um, and I'm on a group chat with all of his friends because I don't know because they invited me is that weird <laughs> um, so I ended up sending a message to Maya because I wanted to go for lunch but it just wasn't working out that way so um, I ended up sending a message to Maya and saying hey do you want to go out for Mexican she did her karate grading yesterday and I said we can celebrate your karate grading would your parents be okay she's staying with her dad and she's like oh I'd love to let me check and so then she texted me back and she was like yeah yeah for sure I really want to go get some Mexican she loves like that kind of food and she likes a little bit of spicy and stuff like that and I so I text her and I said hey listen just let Finn know that we're going out that you're coming because he's rejected me twice three times but maybe he'll want to go you know um, if you're going not to make him come, but I didn't want him to get pissed off, like, or, or surprised or anything like that. Just say, hey, you're coming. So anyway, we did, she did. And I said, I'll be there in half an hour because I was so dying to get Mexican. Um, and I picked her up and I actually did an ASD Rocks video with her, oh my God she and I should be illegal putting us together in a car I swear on my life not one actual subject of conversation got finished before we started another conversation and then went back to the other conversation it was like watching Olympic ping pong like AD triple HD out of controls so having the two of us together <laughs> But you know what, it's really good. Now that they've been together for so long, which I never expected, it was really, you know, it was so good to, I don't obviously go out with my son's girlfriend very often or ever. So it's good to just sort of sit down and talk to her and stuff. See how she's doing at school, what think, what's happening, you know, with kids, how she's feeling, just whatever. So I said to her, did you tell Finn that you were coming and she was like yeah yeah and I said are you like you're sure he understood because I just couldn't believe it I really I could not believe that he wouldn't a hundred percent like just be like I'm there and she was like I wrote are you coming to Mexican with Gemma and me and apparently he wrote back no why with like 14 question marks okay no worries I might actually put up the um, the video 
of Maya and I in the subscribers hub. I just, I don't know how comfortable I feel putting someone else's daughter on. Like there's, yeah, I don't mind in some things, um, but yeah, so I, I'll, I'll pop that one up actually on the subscriber hub. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, anyway, we took, when we got to Mexico, she's so funny. She's, they have like massive sombrero hats everywhere, massive colorful hats. And she was like, oh my God, hats, I have to wear a hat. And I was like, okay. So we took a selfie, we both wore hats. We took a selfie with these like rainbow colored Mexican sombrero hats. We couldn't get our heads close enough to each other to get both get in the photo. That's how big these hats were. And we put it up on the group chat. The next thing I know, I get a message from Finn saying, can you tell Maya I love her? And I was like, I wrote no, because I was like, and then we called. I was like, tell her yourself. You know, like, why would I tell your girlfriend you love her when the phone's right here? You tell her. He was in hysterics. He was, I mean, I haven't seen Finn cry ever, ever like that. I was like, what is going on? What, what is happening? What, like, seriously, I don't... And then he started going on about how, I don't know, he didn't understand or something. I, I just don't know. But I said, just come down. Like, seriously, what's the problem? Just like, I'll call dad or I'll get you an Uber. Just come. And he's like, no, if I come, then, you know, it's only because I want to be with Maya and it's not because I want to be with you. And, you know, I can't do that. And I'm like, well, dude, <laughs> bit late now <laughs> like just come no need to just be crying hysterically it took like four phone calls and a call to his dad to get him down there he came down I don't know if things just went downhill from there I don't know if he was just really like he's obviously just been extremely emotional but he was just super quiet and then, you know, uh, honest to God, I really don't know what happened. We dropped Maya off back home. I ordered him some nachos because that's what he eats. But he was looked at me and he was like, I've already had dinner. Now, I picked her up at five o'clock. At the latest, this was like, got, got to have been seven o'clock. I swear I've never seen him have dinner at seven o'clock in my life. But by seven o'clock it wasn't even it had to be like 6 30 or something anyway i um we dropped off maya that was fine then i got home went upstairs went to Bo. Now, I've been having a lot of trouble with Bo, and I always talk about picking my battles, right? Pick your battles. Discipline is something you guys know that I'm super, super harsh on, but Bo's like, uh, gonna be 18. Finn's birthday is coming up super soon. He's gonna be 15. And Lately, I've been saying, like, when Bo has been just so, so, he's always done everything, you know, I'll say, Bo, you need to have your protein shake, he has it, whatever. I don't know, lately, he just, he hasn't, there's been a number of things that, you know, he's sort of not wanted to do. And I've always sort of gone, like, you know, oh, I'll just leave it, I'll just leave it, I'll pick my battles. The protein shake thing is really starting to upset me because it's actually something for his physical health that he needs. We've seen a nutritionist. We know that he's supposed to be having three shakes a day. The evening one, not a big deal because he gets plenty of protein in his dinner meal, but he's not getting any protein breakfast, lunch, 
and he needs it with the amount of energy. It's been a year and I've been saying to him, we have to have three shakes a day. We have to have three shakes a day. Like I'm trying to work up. We're lucky, we're, we're having one shake a day. And I've been saying to him, can you have a shake? And like, he got home from gym the other day. Sorry, he got home from school the other day. A couple, he had two spare periods at the end of the day. And I said to him, this would be a perfect time for you to have a shake before you go to gym. It's in the middle of the day. It was like one o'clock, 12, 31 o'clock. This would be the perfect time. Oh, I don't really feel comfortable or I don't feel, uh, you know, that it's not the right time. I don't know what the, what the reason was. I can't remember now, but what I'm getting at is that he has been doing this a lot about a bunch of things and I've always you know sort of been like okay you know don't go bananas pick your battles do all this stuff anyway last night I got home I wanted him to have a shower um, we were we were in his bedroom talking and he got really it's something he's been doing lately and I've been letting it go because he is going to be 18, but he's been getting really aggressive. I think it was on the subscriber hub video um, that, yeah, it was. So I, um, the other day at gym, he dropped the mother F bomb. <laughs> um, and turned around to the weights and went, Oh, like you know it's pure rage in him this sweet placid amazing little boy it's pure rage and he goes oh I'm gonna get you you know he, he's talking to an inanimate object and he's calling it a mother dada um, which the reason I put up the post in the a subscriber hub was like you know when your kids been non-verbal for so long and they actually use swearing in the correct context you're actually quite happy about it and you're like yes that's like see that is the correct context there's an ambulance I wonder where it's wanting to go um anyway he one of the things he said to me last night he got really angry and he said why do you make it so hard i can't even remember to do what or to you know what to, to stay calm or something whatever it was and i said why do you make it so hard for me to do the things as a mother to help you Forget about why I'm making your life miserable by asking you to, whatever it happens to be, have a shower, you know, brush your teeth, do have a shake, whatever it happens to be. And he was, you know, he's 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 losing his cool. I mean, he's not aggressive towards me, but it is extremely aggressive. And I just used his own words back on him. And I said, why are you making it so hard for me to do what I'm supposed to do to be a good mum? And I walked out and he said, I could hear him from my room. He said, oh, you know, now I feel like an asshole, and I was like, oh, we've been through this before, all right? I know how this goes. We've been through this before. He says that he feels like an asshole. Then he gets miserable. Then eventually, you know, he mutters out aloud to, to know that I can hear him. And then he usually comes in and we have a talk or he says sorry or something happens and it's you know sorted no nah. 
he started last night he started weeping a little bit and I was like oh god I've just got to ride this out until he comes in and, and we can sort it out no he ended up in hysterics I'm talking full like so now I've had both boys literally in hysterics through serious swear on my life no fault of my own I have communicated so clearly with these kids Bowen's up downstairs right absolutely weeping weeping isn't the word I'm talking snot coming down like <laughs> same as Finn was not a few hours before Finn's got his arm around Bo. Richard's sitting there. They're all snuggled around each other. And I'm like, how the hell did I become the villain here? How the hell did did this like, I have like you're all sitting there in this little hub of support for each other. I just don't understand when it comes to Finn I literally not only asked him three or four times I knocked on the door as I was leaving I said are you sure he said yes then my, I got Maya to text him as well he still said no now Bo's in tears those two have teamed up I'm sitting on the stairs Everyone's looking at me like I am just pure evil. I just, like, you know what? Genuinely, like, I, I, I didn't, I locked myself in my room today. I did not come out until one o'clock, easy. I didn't sleep at all last night. I was absolutely miserable so upset that you know these two kids who I am just turning myself into a pretzel to accommodate and look after and make sure everything's okay I just don't get it I just don't get it anyway ASD rocks sorry someone just waved um, I yeah I absolutely miserable